interest is the cost of borrowing money. The amount of interest depends on three factors. First, the principal, which we abbreviate with the letter P, is the amount of money that is borrowed or deposited in a savings account. The rate, abbreviated with R, usually specified as percent per year, although it could be percent per month, we will assume that it is percent per year unless otherwise stated. And the third factor is the time, and of course the longer the time, the more interest will be due. Now there are different ways of calculating interest, and we'll start with simple interest. To calculate simple interest, we just multiply the three factors together. Okay, so simple interest is just PRT. Okay, so for example, we have a $500 deposit, which earns 6% interest per year, and we want to know how much interest is earned over a four-year period. Okay, and the answer is given here is $120. Let's see how we come up with that. We know that the interest is the product of the principal, the rate, and the time. So what's the principal here? Well, it's $500. The rate says it's 6%. And of course, when we multiply percents, we must convert to a decimal. So 6% converted to a decimal is 0 0.06. And then we multiply by the time, which is four years. Okay, and when we do the multiplication, the answer does come out to be $120. Okay, now the next definition, the future value or the future amount which is abbreviated with the letter A, is the amount of the interest plus the principal. Okay, so we have A is equal to P plus I, or principal plus interest. But since the interest is equal to principal times rate times time, the P appears in both of these terms, so we can factor it out. And so our formula can also be written as future amount or future value is P times the quantity 1 plus RT. Okay, so for example, we would like to compute the future value of a $1,000 investment earning 3% simple interest for six years. Okay, so we'll use our formula for A. A is equal to P times 1 plus RT. In this case, P is $1,000. R is 3%. Convert that to a decimal, so we have 0 0.03. And then T is 6. Okay, so that's 1,000 times 1 plus 0.18, and the answer is $1,180.
Okay, now this uh, formula for the future value can be turned around and solve for the uh, principal. And when this is done, um, instead of calling it principal, we call it a present value. Okay, so the present value of an investment is the principal which is needed to produce a given future amount under specified conditions. Okay, so let's see how that formula is derived from our previous formula. Our previous formula said A is equal to P times 1 plus RT. And if we want to solve this for P, all we need to do is divide each side by 1 plus RT. Okay, this quantity 1 plus RT will cancel on the right hand side. And so our formula then for present value is P is equal to A divided by 1 plus RT. Okay, so for example, a couple estimates they will need $2,500 for a vacation that they plan in two years. And the bank will offer an investment which pays 4%. Find the amount that they must invest now in order to cover their vacation's cost. Okay, so this is a present value problem. We know what amount we're going to need in the future. That's the $2,500. And we know the rate. We know the time. So it's just a matter of solving for the present value. P is equal to A divided by 1 plus RT. So in this case, the A is going to be the $2,500. And then 1 plus R is 4%, converted to a decimal is 0 0.04, and then the time is 2 years. Okay, so this is $2,500 divided by 1.08, and when you do this calculation, the answer turns out to be... two thousand three hundred fourteen dollars and eighty two cents